folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Heartland Mallard M32. This is a beautiful bunkhouse model with three bunks in the back, big super slide over here to the side with a U dinette and a tri fold sofa. Plus, you get the barreled ceiling, so it's nice and open in here as well. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Let's start off over here on the kitchen. You will see that you have decent kitchen prep space thanks to both of these sink top covers as well as the recessed cooktop with the glass cover here. Both of your sink top covers are cutting board quality. I do recommend just using one side though, the bottom here. That way your top stays looking nice. All the knife marks are on the bottom. And if we take a look at the sink there, you will see that the you have the large bowl on the left, smaller one on the right, which is the ideal setup for washing and rinsing dishes. You also see the high-rise pull-out faucet here. It's a very modern faucet. I like that they you know, want a little more modern rather than a traditional look. And the fact that it is pull-out does make it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. And if you have like a coffee maker, I know myself, I bring my Keurig camping, rather than having to take the, wa uh, the uh, water basin out and try to fight in the sink, I simply just take this and fill it right up just like that. It's nice and easy. You know, right over here to the side, you will also see that you, as I mentioned, you have the recessed cooktop. You can fold the glass up and back like so. The glass kind of doubles as a backsplash and opens up the three burners. You see the knobs here all light up. You can turn them off if you want, but it is kind of a nice little look. And then right underneath is your oven in case you want to do some baking. If we take a look under the sink here, I'll open that up for you. You do see storage there. It is enough space for a smaller trash can. Little cubby hole right up top. And then you have two large full extension ball bearing drawers there, offering plenty of space for any uh, silverware, flatware, uh, you know, some of your larger utensils like your um, you know, spatulas and the big knives, things like that. Right up top here, we'll take a look at the storage. I'll open this up for you. You can see how nice and open that is. Cool thing about that is it doesn't have a style in there either. So that's just all open storage space. That way, you know, if you have like a bigger like organizer or something for all your spices, a big spice rack you want to put up there, it is easy to put that in. Uh, right over next to that is the microwave and directly underneath is the hood with both a light and a fan. The Dometic fridge freezer combo is right next door to that. You see the freezer up top with your refrigerator space right down below. Cut out here for some of the taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right here on the wall is your thermostat. This controls uh, both your ducted AC as well as the ducted heat. Right down below there is your propane leak detector. Hopefully you never have to hear that going off, but just know that you do have that for safety reasons. Now your bathroom is right off to the side here. The thing I like about this bathroom is the fact that you have a secondary door. Now you will notice that you don't have a window or anything here. I know that you know having a door in a bathroom sometimes freaks people out. So they eliminated that just to give you that uh, extra feeling of privacy. Obviously you can lock the door nice and easily as you're doing your business. The thing I do like about this though is that you know friends, family, kids, whatever can come in. They can do their business right here and head right back out without getting dirt all over your entire RV. As you'll see, I'm sitting on the toilet right now. They did a good job of angling it rather than having it, you know, some manufacturers put it just like this and you're kind of cramped up against the wall, but they did angle it out. So that way you have plenty of leg room, great shoulder space here too. You see uh, some good countertop space here in the bathroom. It's something you don't often get. So you do have enough room to put like, you know, your uh, hair dryer or curling iron down here. You have enough room for, you know, toothbrush and stuff right in the back. Electrical outlet off to the side. And then you'll see you have some additional storage right down below, as well as the mirrored medicine cabinet right up above. Now over to this side here is the tub shower. I'll take a step in here just to kind of give you an idea of size. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am six foot. You can see that I can stand under here fairly easily. You know, you're 6'1", six, 6'2", six, because of the skylight, you'll probably still have enough room. Much taller than that, you'll probably have to bend over a little bit. Hand wand to make it a little bit easier to shower, and then they do give you the tub. So that way, if you have smaller kids and, you know, you want to give them a bath, that tub will give you the capability to do so. Right outside here, across the way, we'll open this up for you. You have a, a versatile storage space. So if you want to hang some clothes, you know, you need some extra space for kids' clothes. It gives you the wardrobe. 
course, the shelves are movable. Otherwise, you have a bunch of shelves in here for clothes, pantry, whatever else. And right down underneath that, this is an awesome feature, folks. This is a central vac. I love the fact that it's located here, kind of, you know, close to the kids' area, because chances are this will probably be the messiest area right in here and kind of around the, the dinette there. And you can easily reach it right there with your central vac. So I love that they have that. Usually you don't see those unless you get into like a, a bigger fifth wheel. It's not very often they have them in a travel trailer. Right back here is your, uh, your, your bunk house, essentially. So you have the 200 pound weight capacity bunk right up top. This one does fold up and lock in place just like it is right now. Directly underneath are your two cube sofas. The backrests do have cup holders in there. Um, you know, if I honestly, unless it's a bottle or something that has a cap, that's the only way I'd really use them if it's me, because you know, if it's like a McDonald's cup or something, it's it's gonna spill. But at least they do have them there. It's kind of cool. Both of these do fold out into beds, which is fantastic. Right in the back, you get the big windows so that does let in some natural light, electrical outlet right down there as well. And then on the other side, this one has a 300 pound weight capacity right over here. So you know, if you need an adult to sleep in there, you can do that. A couple kiddos can sleep up top even. You'll see on the sides, you have some great storage here. You will see the hanging rod going across the top. Right over on the other side, rather than a hang space, they give you shelving, so you kind of get the best of both worlds there. You also have some drawers right underneath here. You know, excellent spot for some underwear, socks, things like that. Good storage underneath right there. And then right up top, you have this huge opening for a TV. So, you know, if you want to bring a TV along with you camping for those rainy days, by all means, you can. You know, if the kids want to bring their favorite gaming system, whether it's their PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, as you can see, you have plenty of space to be able to install that right in there. So we make our way back out into the main living area here. You can see the super slide. Big U-shaped dinette. You can easily sit four people around here so the family can kind of sit together, have a meal together, play games together. Uh, it's kind of a, an oblong-shaped table, but there is enough room, again, where you can, you know, fairly easily sit four plates. Uh, you know, again, probably, probably not any more than that. It'll be a little bit cramped, but for four people, it does work well. It also does drop down into a bed where you can sleep an adult, uh, possibly two. You know, it's, it's not super deep, so you definitely have to be snuggling, but uh, it is a decent length there. Right underneath, you will see you have storage on both sides. Swing that open for you. Now, you know, if you don't have to lift up the cushions to be able to access that storage, it's just right there. Big windows here, too. So rather than have storage going across the top, instead they have a window that goes, you know, almost all the way to the, uh, the top of the slide there, which is fantastic. Another one right here on the side. I like the light fixture they put in for 2019. It's an upgraded light fixture. It looks quite a bit nicer. Kind of has that, uh, that Chip and Joanna Gaines look to it, if you will. Little, little farmhouse, you know, kind of a little bit traditional, but still a little bit modern. It's kind of cool. Right up top here is additional storage. You can see the glass kind of has a, a neat effect on there as well. There's also a light. They put a blue light back there just to kind of accent it. You have struts, so it's easy one-hand operation to be able to grab anything that you put in there. Again, windows right back here and a tri-fold sofa. The tri-fold's great. It has, as you can see, fixed armrests, so it is quite comfortable to be able to sit here. You can you know, easily sit two people. If you want to snuggle a third in there, you can probably do that too. This does fold out into a bed, again, where you can uh, more than adequately sleep one adult. And if you're okay snuggling, you can have two here as well. And then right up here is your entertainment center. Big area right in the center for a large TV. This does swivel around, so that way you can watch it in the bedroom as well at night. You'll see you have the RCA cables to hook into it for a DVD player. I know it should be an HDMI cable, folks. Unfortunately, RV industry just hasn't caught up yet, but... Uh, it, you know, at least it does still serve a purpose that if you need to watch a movie, you have the capability to do that. Storage right down below as well as a little bit right up top. So we take a look at the bedroom. You see the queen bed right here in the center. There is storage underneath. You can take a look at that. So if you have some larger items, that is the place to store them. You'll also see right over here you have the, uh, the hose for your central vac. This wood piece, folks, is what you need to finish making up that U-shaped dinette. So if you do drop that down in the bed, you want to make sure you have that to be able to help support that center section. We take a look over on the sides here. You will see the hanging space for your wardrobe. You have, again have that on both sides, so plenty of hanging space. There's a mirror on the doors if you want to check yourself out. And then if you drop down right underneath that, you will see your nightstand. So you have good nightstands, cubby holes, electrical outlets there as well. Last thing I do want to point out is right here you will see the uh, slider doors. So rather than having curtains, you do have actual doors. And as I mentioned, when you shut these, this does swivel around so that way you can have TV here in the bedroom.
Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the features on the outside of the Mallard M32. You'll see 20, uh, two 20 pound propane tanks right here with the cover. Simply undo those two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access to those two tanks. Right behind there here, you see rails for your battery. There is enough space if you want to try to fit two batteries there, you can squeeze them in. And on the far side, you can, uh, you can see that this one also has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. On the front is your diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then right above that, you have the front cap. Gorgeous front cap here on the Mallard. It is a true front cap as it wraps around the side. That way it'll help keep out a lot of the water as well as give you added insulation value in there. You also have LED lights on both sides. Coming around to the side, Couple things you'll notice about the pass-through. One, it has a covered hinge, so it's not gonna, hey, you know, you're not gonna have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also slam latch, so it shuts nice and easy. It's magnetic, and look how wide it is. If you have wider items, you can easily fit them in the pass-through here in the Mallard. You take a look, speaking of large items, you can see there's a, not just a grill, but the actual box for it as well. They were able to fit right in here. Couple LED lights, the entire pass-through is finished off. You don't see any framework in here, so it's a, it's a great looking pass through. And right over here, we'll drop this down. You can see that this one does have power stabilizer jacks. Both of your controls are right here. The one will control the front two, the other one will control the rear two. And of course, you can take a look at those jacks right down here. While we're down here, I do want you to note that this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So, if you're camping in some of the colder seasons, as long as you are running the furnace, it will blow that hot air underneath helping to prevent your lines and tanks from freezing up on you. Now, obviously, if you're in really cold climates, folks, there's really no RV that will completely prevent freezing up, so obviously take precautions. But again, that does do a good job of helping to prevent that. You can see right here, this is one of two entrances. This one is your main entrance, three foldable steps with the grab handle. You have the secondary entrance right there in the back, same setup, three foldable steps with the grab handle. And that one in the back, of course, is the one that goes into the bathroom. We take a step a little bit further back here, you'll see your fresh water inlet. So if you're going somewhere you don't have water hookup, you'll definitely want to take water with you. That will be the place you fill it. Right up here is your electrical outlet. Need to plug some things in. That's going to be the place to do it. And then if you take a look up top, you'll see the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in with the uh, LED light on there so you have light at night. You also have two outside speakers, so that way if you want to listen to some music, uh, you can do so. That is connected to the multimedia center inside, but it's Bluetooth capable, so you can sit out here and use your smartphone to be able to connect to it. You get what they call the wide track suspension system, which is basically a spread axle. The big advantage of that is because the wheelbase is further apart, it helps reduce sway while going down the road. You also see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels there, which will continue to look nice because aluminum doesn't rust. Right here is a black tank flush. This is a really handy feature. So, uh, you know, after you, you pull your black valve and everything dumps out, there's actually generally a little bit of stuff that gets left behind. That's a lot of times how you start getting that smell. So, instead what you do is you take the hose, you hook it up right here, and there's actually sprayers built in. It helps wash all those solids out of there for you. Taking a step back a little bit further and one of my favorite parts about bunk models, especially when you have a three bunk in the back, is that it allows for a large outside kitchen. Because there's not a bunk right here, you know, it's just the top bunk, it gives you this big kitchen area. And when you get a tall outside kitchen, a lot of times that means you get the bigger refrigerator. Helps if I open it from the right side here, but uh, this is great because this gives you all the space you need to fit all of your condiments, beverages, everything else you need in here. I love having the bigger fridge. There's also a TV right out here, so if you wanna be able to you know, watch the show, it already comes with one, which is awesome. Right down underneath, you'll see the drawer. So if you need to uh, you know, have some plasterware and stuff out there, it's a great spot for it. Pull out prep station right here. You have a sink over to the side, you have a light, and then we'll open this up. You can also see there's plenty of storage right here. You know, whether you wanna put cups in here or you know, maybe uh, you put some booze in there, whatever you want, you know, make yourself a little outside bar, I don't know crazy idea but either way it just is a uh, great extra little outside space and then if you'd like to do some grilling right back here is the arm for that I showed you the grill underneath the bed simply pull the pin that allow you to swing this out and around so you can be a grill master in no time 
And then you will see right down underneath here is your propane quick connect. So you can just plug that grill right in and feed off the two 20 pound bottles. That grill of course is mounted to the bumper. It does have the end cap so you can pop those off. It gives you a spot to store your sewer hose. Of course, I'd probably store it on the other side, not near my grill, but that's just me. And then right back here is your spare tire. Great thing about this, and obviously hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's real easy to access right here, folks. Take off a couple nuts, you're good to go. You don't have to get underneath your trailer on your hands and knees, run around in the mud. Right on the back here is your cable inlet, city water inlet, as well as the outside shower. You will see that one has both hot and cold water access there. And if you take a look right up top, you will see backup camera prep. This is a pretty good size travel trailer. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Again, this is a 2019 Heartland Mallard M32. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.